Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about how to set up your company account as a small business owner. Now, I'm sure if you've recently opened a company on Companies House, you will no doubt be aware that you have a lot of responsibilities now, particularly if you are a company director of that particular company. And one of those responsibilities includes you being responsible for setting up your company accounts, okay? And by the way, if you ever wanna work with me on a one-on-one -on -one basis, you can find the link to do so down in the description box below. It will also be pinned down in the comment section. So let's talk about some of the reasons why you actually want to be able to set up your company accounts on an annual basis. The first reason is that it is going to be your legal responsibility, okay, as a company director. The second reason is the fact that when you set up your company accounts, it will give you an idea of the right amount of tax that you need to be paying. So it makes sure that you are not paying more tax than you need to pay and you are certainly not paying less tax than you need to pay. Of course, taking the advice of a professional accountant can always help you with this as well. The third reason you're gonna to need to know how to set up your company account is due to the fact that on an annual basis, you'll be required to file several returns, okay, to Companies House or to HMRC. Now, let's talk about some of the accounts that you actually need to be familiar with, okay? So what sort of accounts might you have to set up now that you're a company director going forward for your particular company or your business? Some of the type of accounts you're gonna to need to be familiar with are, you know, being able to set up your confirmation statement, setting up your corporation tax returns, doing your VAT returns, doing your PAYE returns, and so many other different types of tax returns out there as well. So it's very, very important that this is a video that you take quite seriously. And if there are any questions that you have or you have particular issues, that you'd like me to review for your particular business, then do make sure you use the link down in the description box below um, to contact me regarding those. So let's dive straight into one of the options that you have regarding actually being able to set up your company accounts. The first option you have is to basically just hire an accountant, okay? Now, it's not a legal obligation that you have to use a chartered accountant to do your accounts, but certainly if you're a new business owner or maybe you're a business owner who has a lot of things doing on their day-to-day -day basis and you're not quite sure about how to go about setting up your accounts, then I, my best recommendation is to liaise with a qualified accountant who can help you do this. Another benefit of obviously using a qualified accountant is the fact that a lot of the time, business owners certainly have a lot of other issues that are peculiar to that particular business or to that particular industry that they're within. And depending on the competence of your accountant, he or she can guide you as to what the best way forward is for your particular business, okay? A qualified accountant can also give you some advice around the best ways for you to be more tax efficient. So there are definitely a lot of reasons for you to consider using an accountant to help you do your company accounts. The second way you can go about actually doing your company accounts is basically using a lot of softwares that are out there. So gone are the days where you are solely limited to using a platform or a software like Excel, for instance. Today, we now have a lot of different accounting softwares that quite a lot of business owners can go out there, buy for themselves, and basically start to use these softwares. A lot of these softwares will often have templates within them, and depending on how savvy you are, you will be able to reproduce your company accounts. Of course, reproducing those company accounts does not necessarily mean you have all your returns in one place. Once you produce those company accounts, you still do need to find a way to, you know, move those information from the company accounts that you set up and basically complete your relevant returns. So, you know, complete your corporation tax return, complete your PAYE return and all the other sort of returns that we mentioned at the start of this video. Now, the third way you can go about actually setting up your company account 
is by using Excel, okay? So Excel, that sounds very simplistic, but very it is actually very, very simplistic, actually. But what you want to do is when you are using Excel, you basically want to make sure that you have a spreadsheet that's set up to help you capture your income and your expenditure from your business, okay? It's very important that whatever income and expenditure that you're capturing are solely related to the business. And I'm stressing this point because I know that sometimes as new business owners, a lot of people might still be in a position where maybe they're using their personal bank account because they don't have a business bank account. And when you do this, it's very easy for you to get mixed up between what is for the business and what is for personal use. So ideally, I would strongly recommend that you get a business bank account almost as soon as you set up your company because this will really, really help you to actually help to keep that segregation between personal use and also what is business use. And it will be extremely helpful to you when it comes to setting up your company account. So what you wanna do is you want to make sure that you're able to capture your income on your spreadsheet, okay? So all the relevant bits of income that you pull in from your business, okay? Making sure that you capture all of that. Ideally, sometimes you might be able to categorize this depending on what different categories these income are coming from, okay? So for instance, you might have income that's coming from rental income, you know, you might have income that's coming from, you know, dividend income or sales. So it's important that you're capturing these in different categories if it's relevant to your business. The next part that you want to consider when you're using an Excel spreadsheet to actually help you set up your company account is your expenditure, like we mentioned earlier on. Your expenditure is going to be very, very important for you to capture. Why? Because a lot of the time, there are gonna be expenditure that are tax deductible, okay? So if you haven't watched my video, I did do a video on some tax deductible expenses that can actually help you save money in the long run as a business owner. So do make sure you watch that because it's already up on my channel. But it's very important that when you are pulling in all your expenses, you make sure that they are relevant to the business, okay? It's very, very important. So for instance, if you have a business and you're a taxi driver, some of the relevant expenditure to that is gonna be the fuel that you use, you know, to run that particular taxi. It's gonna be the car insurance specifically tied to that taxi. There might also be instances where you have a job and that job you have maybe uniform that you have to wear to actually carry out that job the price of that uniform is going to count as a relevant expenditure for that business and by the way something like uniform is also a tax deductible expense so it's very very important for you to be able to think about the best way forward to actually help you set your company account because it's something that it's of critical importance for you as a new business owner, as a company director going forward. And I think the earlier you can get it done and get it done correctly in the beginning, it will really help you in the long run because some of the pitfalls of getting your company account set up wrong in the very beginning can mean that you are actually paying significantly more tax than you have to. So it's very important that when you are thinking about the ways and methods you want to use to set up your company accounts going forward, you have to think about how much time do you have. If you're a business owner and you're very, very busy with running your business, do you really have that time to dedicate to trying to learn an Excel spreadsheet or using a software, it really depends on you. What is the benefit? You know, what's the cost benefit analysis of you doing that? The second thing you want to consider is how much experience do you actually have? Okay. And that's the same with you deciding whether or not you seek professional advice. It might mean that, you know, you're able to do some of these accounts by yourself 
and then you call in the advice of a professional accountant to help you look over things or it might just be a lot easier for you to simply hire an accountant who can help you do these things and also basically submit the returns for you on a consistent basis to company's house because one thing you definitely do not want to do is you do not want to submit your returns late to either company's house or HMRC because you will only then be left with a lot of penalties which I'm sure you certainly do not want so hopefully this video has been very useful to you to give you an idea of some of the options available to you when you're thinking of how to go about setting up your company accounts and some of the things you should think about when you are looking to set up your company accounts as a business owner Thank you so much for watching this video and if you haven't already done so, please do make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Please share this video with anyone else who might benefit from it and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.